Welcome back to the 16th edition of the Top Kills of the Week series. All you have to do to participate is have crazy kills, epic plays, or funny moments on any video game and email a link of your gameplay to rumspanker at yahoo.com. Links to every video here's YouTube channel are in the description below, so check them out at their channels. Let's get the voting started on these videos here. Every video is listed in alphabetical order. In the comments below, say which video you think is the best by saying whatever letter corresponds with the video, and we will check out who the winner is in our next video of this series. Alright, when it comes to top plays, the Silly Muffin has got exactly what we're looking for. He decimates the enemy with the Fedorov Aftermath, just destroys the enemy with his rifle, and then he just kicks... I've never seen this animation before. He's going to kick an enemy in the face. He just disrespects him. He just disrespects the enemy and just continues the carnage. Check this out. I've never seen this animation before. Maybe you have. If you have, let me know down below. But just just check out his channel. This was actually a part of his montage, so I decided we would upload just this part right here because this animation you're about to see is just incredible. Insane. We gotta run that back. Gotta run that back. What a play right there. And they still have not taken him out. Next up, we've got JD Fresh. He's got the Dreadnought, and he absolutely decimates the enemy team with one shot from the Dreadnought. Takes, <laughs> he takes apart an entire building, and I think the entire enemy team must have been hiding in that building. This is incredible. Wow. That's sick. He shoots another one for good measure, but he's already taken everybody out. There's nobody left, bro. There's nobody left. Next up, we got Geriatric Talab Boy, 1976. And this guy, instead of running from the tank like a lot of flame troopers would do, he gets right underneath it and somehow is not killed. And he's roasting and toasting everyone in the tank. Sick. That's how you take out a tank with style. Now we've got Ruby Eyes. Now, it's one thing to get a collateral kill, but to get a collateral taking out the pilot and the secondary gunner on an airplane at one time, look at this shot. Look at this shot he's about to take right here. This is sick. Collateral from that back. The amount of precision, the amount of aim there is incredible. Now we got Frank Unterhaus. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. This guy's playing War Pigeons. The War Pigeons mode, the basically the enemy's pigeons are about to take off, but he says, no, nah, none of that. He's going to take it out of the sky and then completely go berserk with the Fedorov after that. He takes out their pigeon, which is already disrespectful, and then he just completely just begins to mow them down. If you haven't seen it by now by watching this gameplay, the Aftermath is a really, really powerful weapon. He's learned to manage the recoil, as you can see in this video, and I mean, he's just completely, completely has great aim with the thing, even though it bounces all over the place. <laughs> they bust through the door on him. Not a good idea, buddy. This guy in the alleyway just couldn't couldn't smarten up. You do not want to see Frank with the aftermath. Go the other way, dude. Takes him out. He jumps in the air and takes him out. That was sick. Now we got Freddy McGee Gaming, who gets, I think this was a 12-piece with the mortar. I don't think I've ever seen this many kills with the mortar before. Takes out the bridge, takes out the tank, and everything around it. Look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. And almost takes out a plane as well. Absolutely incredible.
Next up, we got Lewis Jr. And Lewis Jr.'s got the Moss and the Gantt Infantry. The one thing that was crazy about this video is he doesn't miss a single shot. That is incredible aim with an infantry rifle. I'll tell you what, I hope I hope Lewis Jr. plays on console because I would not want to come across him on PC. Doesn't miss a single shot. Even coming down the hill, sliding off the hill, he didn't miss a shot. Incredible. Now we got Jesus, and Jesus is going bananas with the dynamite and the shotgun. He was a previous winner some time ago when we were, uh, we were doing this video before. But right now, he's just going bananas with the dynamite. Taking these guys out with the shot, he shoots somebody through the med pack. I don't know how he saw him that quickly. Shot him right through the med pack. Awesome job. This one right here is Ipris. He's driving the light tank. He sees a plane, tries to shoot it, tries to shoot the plane, but totally misses. Now, that's, that's the tank round right there. You would think, okay, totally missed, but watch what happens. That thing's gonna land on the most craziest spot ever. He took out a flame trooper with that. He took out a flame trooper. I don't know if that's luck, I don't know if that's skill. I don't know if that could even be replicated or duplicated at any time. That is just incredible, we had to run this back. Tries to take out a plane, totally misses. But that flame trooper is the unluckiest player on Battlefield 1 ever. Last but not least, we got Heighten 86 playing some Call of Duty World War 2. Reloading really quick, getting a double, turn it into a triple to get that bronze star. He was the only Call of Duty submission we had. I was actually surprised. Way to go, Heighten 86. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, comment down below which one you think is the winner so we can check it out in the next video. We'll see who won. Congratulations to all the submissions. If you didn't see your video here, stay tuned because you may see it in our future videos for the top plays, epic kills, top kills, series, funny moments, you name it. It's right here. I'll catch you guys on the next one. It's your boy, Rump Spanker. And until next time, I'm out of here.